guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and I can improve your soloing with this one simple hack. Anyway, thanks for supporting what I do here, Marty Music. I would really appreciate you so much, even more, if you were to subscribe here to the channel, click the bell notification, and then also check the links below for all kinds of bonus stuff if you're a guitar player. All right, let's improve that soloing. Here we go. All right, sometimes we get so overwhelmed with the just like the entire neck and the entire scale and you know and how do we sound less scaly and how do we sound more musical and you got to just keep playing keep listening but I was thinking about a cool blues technique that I want you to work on and I'll even play some rhythm at the end of this uh, close-up and you can work on exactly what I'm talking about sometimes you want to limit yourself um, some of the coolest things about improvised lead guitar are uh, creating melodies and motifs, like repeating ideas that your ear or pattern that your your ear connects to and then you feel some kind of uh, emotional response to it, you know, and the blues is so great for that. So I'm gonna take the G minor pentatonic, right? You can play the G minor pentatonic up and down the whole neck, do all the extensions, you know, learn licks everywhere. That's all still really good. But for this exercise, we're gonna just focus on pretty much two strings. Maybe adding a little bit if we cheat a little bit, okay? So G minor pentatonic. So if I was playing like a Hendrixy. do nice G minor pentatonic stuff and have that work really well. So I want to focus on a little piece that I like a lot that some people overlook. We all love the home row is what uh, I've been calling it. You know, that E root. But I like the A root one just as much. But we're going to focus on a little spot of it to even limit ourselves even more. Let me show you where the scale is coming from. So I said G minor pentatonic. So I'm gonna go 10th fret on the A string and we go 10, 13 and then 10, 12 and then 10, 12 on the G. And then this is where it's a little weird, but, um, but anyway, it's 11, 13 on the B string. And then 10, 13 on the high E. You also have the E string, but the roots are here, the G note, and right here. Right. So what I want you to focus on and limit yourself and see how creative you can get by playing the, for, for a bit, only the uh, 10 and 12 on the G string. and then only the 11 on the B string. They're all, they're easy fingers to use. I mean, once, you, once we try and get our pinky in there, it gets a little more difficult. The, the finger changes can be a challenge, but this little piece. There's just so much in there, okay? Some things uh, I'm gonna demonstrate, but You've got these little microtonal bends, which uh, would be like on the 10th of the G. So I was already che cheating there by going outside of it, but. Also have that same and so the idea is if you limit yourself it's how creative can you get with just three notes and uh, uh, you want to repeat 
uh, ideas. Create, try and force yourself to create motifs. All right, so here I'm gonna get my looper going here. And I'm gonna just play a little rhythm track and I'm gonna demonstrate and then I'm gonna play rhythm for you for a while and, and uh, work on that. And then the other thing is you can take any piece of any scale, mode, anything and and create your own exercise around this idea of limitate limiting little cells of the stuff you're working on and i find you can come up with some good uh new new ideas all right so let's see uh Set exercise, here we go. away right
All right, hope you guys had fun with that lesson. Feel free to request stuff or let me know if it worked or what didn't work for you in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking and subscribing here uh, to the channel Marty Music. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.